السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سی ایس ایس پی ایم ایس ٹائمز آن لائن کوچنگ آئی ہوپ دس لیکچر فائنڈ یو ویل ٹو ڈے آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر ود یو پی ایم ایس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ٹو پاکستان افیئرس ان کوشچن نمبر ون ڈسکس دا پولیٹیکل آئیڈیالوجی آف سر سید احمد خان ٹو ورڈز دا انڈین نیشنل کانگریس پارٹیکولر ریفرنس ٹو ہز پالیسی میئرس ٹو کاؤنٹر دا امینٹ ڈینجر آف میجورٹی رول ان انڈیا In this question, firstly, we will see Sir Syed Ahmed Khan uh, introduction, then Sir Syed Ahmed Khan views on Indian National Congress. Thirdly, we see Sir Syed Ahmed Khan measures to counter the imminent danger of majority rule in India. Lastly, we conclude the answer. Uh, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan was a prominent Muslim intellectual and reformer in 19th century India. He had a unique political ideology that shaped his view on towards the Indian National Congress and his policy measures to address the perceived imminent danger of majority rule in India. Sir Syed Ahmed Khan politi- political ideology can be described as conservative and pragmatic. He was deeply concerned about the position and interest of Muslims in India, particularly particularly in the context of a poten- potential Hindu majority rule. He believed that Muslims were a distinct minority community with their own culture, social and political ident- identity. And their interests needed to be safeguarded within the lar- larger framework of Indian nationalism. So, Syed Ahmed Khan used toward the Indian National Congress were complex while he initially supported the Indian National Congress and its early moderate phase. He later became critical of its policies and directions. He believed that the Indian National Congress, which was predominantly Hindu in its membership and leadership, would not adequately represent the interest of Muslim and other minority communities. Sir so, Syed Ahmed Khan policy measures to counter the imminent danger of majority rule in India were focused on promoting the education and socio-economic advancement of Muslim. He believed that education was a key to empower Muslim and help them compete with Hindus in government jobs and other fields. He founded the Aligarh movement which aim at modernizing Muslim education and promoting a rational approach to religious interpretation. He also established the Mohammedan Anglo-Oriental College, now Aligarh uh, Muslim University, in 1875, he, which became a center of Muslim education and intellectual discourse. Sir Syed Ahmed Khan also advocated of for a policy of politically political loyalty toward the British colonial government. He believed that Muslims should collaboration collaborate with the British ruler and seek their protection to safeguard their interest. Rather than demanding immediate political independence for British rule, which he feared could lead to Hindu domination and marginalization of Muslim. Sir Syed Ahmed Khan political ideology and policy mayor were met with mixed reaction from the Muslim community and other political groups in India. Some Muslims supported his conservative approach and saw him as a champion of Muslim rights, while others criticized him for being too uh, accommodate toward the British and not being sport, sportive in a for the Indian nationalist movement. In conclusion, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan political ideology toward the Indian National Congress was characterized by his, by his concern about the potential danger of Hindu majority rule in India and his focus on promoting the education and socio-economic advancement of Muslims as a mean to safeguard their interest. While he initially sport, supported the Indian National Congress, he later became critical of its policies and advocate for a policy of political loyalty towards the British colonial government. His ideas and policies may continue to be debated and discussed in the context 
ऑफ इंडियन हिस्ट्री एंड पॉलिटिक्स